All right. Do I do I smack my face into it? <laughs> okay, so allow me to explain how the HUD works exactly. We have five exclamation points. If we do something wrong, like present the wrong evidence, we lose one of them. We lose our explanation points, we lose the case. We can press a uh, witness by hitting the press button to get more information on a specific topic. I'm going to do that just so I can, you know, show off various bits of text. We know what we have to press, but I figured it would be a good idea to show everything first. I can also do this. If I hold the Y button, it allows me to shout, HOLD IT! Isn't a man leaving an and I don't have to hit the button. Site? Which I enjoy, but I'm probably just going to hit the button. I find it odd you would take notice of him. Uh, I don't know. He just seemed strange to me, that's all. Like he was mad, and yet frightened at the same time. Just like a criminal fleeing the scene of a crime. Oh really, that was your first impression at the get-go. I thought you just saw him leave an open door. The defense requests that the witness refrain from conjecture! Of course. What the witness means is that the man he saw looked suspicious. So, what's next? Okay. Left the door half open. Half open, you say. Yes, yes. The door was open halfway, yes. Yes, that's what you mean when you say the door is open halfway. Absolutely. I don't no, think you had it's completely open. I don't think he had to like elaborate on that part of it. I watched for a moment, no, I don't but think no so. one came to close the door. That's odd in a big city like this, I thought. I see. And what happened You know, you didn't figure maybe he just wasn't being careful when he closed the door? No. No one's coming up? That's strange. Maybe I should investigate. Yeah, really. I would've gone over and shut the door for him. Yeah. Without even looking in. <laughs> but that would be silly. And the nice thing to do. Yeah. Thinking it was strange, I invaded the home. Gave you the idea to do that. Well, the door was half open, you see. I think most people in that situation would just close the door. Unless they were trying to steal something, maybe. Absolutely. It's only human to want to... peek? <laughs> it's, isn't it only human to want to peek? <laughs> we climb mountains because they are there. It's the same thing. Not exactly. We climb mountains because they're there, yes. But it's not the same thing to go, Hmm, let's look inside this house. Sure words have never been spoken. Anyone would look inside. Shut up, Payne. No one believes hmm. you. Why did Payne cut him off so quickly? So you looked into the apartment. What happened then? I will press that. Are you sure she was dead? B well, no, I guess I wasn't. But she wasn't moving at all, and there was blood everywhere. I guess that would look fatal to anyone. Very well, yeah. what happened next? Okay, I think we've pressed enough things. Let's go to what the point where we need to... hit. Yeah. Wasn't working. Went to nearby park, found public phone. Was exactly 1 p.m. I got you. You found the body at 1 p.m. Are you sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Really? Isn't Frankly, that strange? I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. <laughs> the, the autopsy notes the time of death I do sometime like that. after That's 4 funny. p.m. There was nobody to But this is a serious uh, moment. No body to find at 1 p.m. How do you explain this 3-hour gap? Yeah, really. Wow, her body's gone. Oh, wait, but she died three <laughs> hours later. Oh, that's... Oh, sir. Check. This is trivial. The Did you hear him now? Trivial! It's trivial there is a three-hour gap in his testimony. Check and mate. The witness merely forgot the time. Whoops. I should really After pay more attention not to hit that. I find that hard to believe. Yeah, you tell him, Judge. Mr. Sewitt, 
Why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? I, uh, well, I, gee, that's a really good question. That's a really good question. I agree. Good job, right? Way to put him on the spot. It's all you have to do. Point out contradictions. Lies always beget more lies. See through one and their whole story falls apart. Wait! I remember now! Oh, good. He remembers. Would you care to give your testimony again? Care to share with the rest of the class? There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Really, it came from the television. When you found the body at 1 p.m., where there was supposedly a blackout! Oh, but it was yeah. three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a tape program. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Okay, now, here's the thing. We know what we have, but we don't know when we need to present it in his testimony. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Mia. I've got this one. And this is my one problem in this game that I have sometimes. I know what I need to present, I just don't know where. Okay. Found the body, I heard the time. I don't think I need to press that. Uh -oh. Oh, oh yeah, that's another thing. There will be some statements that are quite obviously statements you do not need to press. Pressing them will result in people being a little miffed at you, but you won't lose one of your exclamation points. Oh, that's good. There's a well, sometimes you will, but it's not a frequent thing. Uh, okay. Okay. There was a voice saying the time, probably coming from the television. I think this would be the place we would present the evidence, to the contrary. Let's see... Blackout. Yep, got him. Hold it right there! Yay! The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it! <laughs> well, what do you have to say about that, Mr. Sawit? You no, couldn't nothing. have heard a television or a video. Gah! Did his hair just fly off a bit? I was just about to ask <laughs> so I should bring up another thing that will be coming. I don't know how soon it's going to be coming up, but soon, when you finally get a witness on something really big, they have what's called a breakdown. Mr. Sawit has one of my favorites in this game. The defense has a point. You're right, Judge. I do have do a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Sawit? No, I... I find it quite puzzling myself. <laughs> quite. I also find it weird that my testimony is so flawed. What the hell, guys? Ah! Wait, I remember now! Mr. Sawit... Stop the doing that. Would prefer to hear an <laughs> Tell your hair to sit in the place. Beginning. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. That, and you seem rather... Distraught. Yes, quite fidgety, sweating, uncertain of all of the things he's saying. Arrgh! Could it be he's lying? <gasps> no, why? M my apologies, Your Honor. It's, uh, know, it must have been the shock of the finding the body. Thing, I, I'm like thinking, he totally did it, I want to know why now. Yeah, well, we did see that intro where it has him hovering over the body with a murder weapon. Very well, Mr. Sawit. We know he did it, we just have to find out why and how. Well, how is obvious, but the why. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. Yeah, this time don't f screw it up so much. Oh, wait, team ready game, don't fuck it up so much, Sawit. <laughs> Actually, I didn't hear the time. Yeah, I saw it. it. I'm excited. <laughs> Yay! Oh, you saw it, did there was you? There table clock in the apartment, oh, wasn't there? Gosh. Table clock in the apartment. Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. Oh, really? Used the clock to kill the victim, huh? This looks like a clock, doesn't it? It really does. And you know where the clock 
That must have been what, what I saw. Where the clock is? Where? Do tell. On the statue's butt. Of course! How silly! <laughs> you saw a clock. Please I guess me. that would explain it. The defense may cross-examine right the, the booty. Gladly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now to be fair, this is the first case, so obviously it's going to be easy, but my god. This is like ridiculous. When does my favorite music come in? I think soon. Objection. Wait just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was this statue! Whoops. Now how I is this supposed that. to be a clock? I need to be more careful. Yes, this is my favorite song in the game. Pursuit. What? You with your objections <laughs> and your evidence. Just who do you think you are? Who do I think I am? I'm the fucking defense, you idiot! Just answer the question, Mr. Sewitt. Hey, I... I saw it there, okay? That's a clock! Yeah, again, the clock face is right on the butt, as we've already Your stated. Honor, if I may. Yes. yes, Mr. Payne. As the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. I'm sorry, what? What are you smoking, Payne? The is a switch. You just tilt it, and it says the time out loud. Oh! Okay. It is a clock. But it yeah. says the time out loud. it doesn't loud. look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. I see. Really? That's quite interesting. He said he saw the time on the clock, but there's nowhere to see it from! So the murder weapon was a table clock, after all. How strange! Well, Mr. Wright, it appears the witness's testimony was correct. This is a clock. Do you have a problem with his testimony now? Of course I have a problem with his testimony! Yes. Your Honor, there's a gaping hole in the witness's testimony! The only way he could have You can see if you were blind! ...to hold it in his hand. Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Clearly a contradiction. Hmm, indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he... Witness knew it was a clock because he... went into the apartment. You're lying! You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder! Oh yeah, prove it! Prove I went in there! I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her! Oh shit. Here we go. I struck her with the clock, and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That's the sound you heard. Order in the court. Intriguing. Please My God, continue, it feels Mr. so Wright. good to get him on this. Yes, Your Honor. It's the high of beating someone in this game. <laughs> Mr. Sewitt, the sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable. Since the murder weapons spoke just as you hit the victim. Yeah, that's not something murder weapons often do. Your voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. Well, well, Shut up, Payne. What's the meaning of this? What's the meaning of this? I am destroying your argument. This is all baseless conjecture. Baseless conjecture. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face. <laughs> that looks like the face of an innocent man. Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? I... I... That... That day... I... I never... Look! I... The clock! I heard... No, I mean... I saw... And that is his breakdown. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up! I hate you! He just threw his hair at us. Oh my god. It, it was him, I tell you! I saw him! He... He killed her! He should burn! Burn! Give him death! Yes, you're so believable. Order! Order in the court, I say! Your Honor, a, a moment, please. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Mr. Wright! Oh, there isn't, is there? Your Honor. You claim the sound the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? Do you have the whole evidence? case is riding on this. I better think it through carefully. This through, huh? Y Your Honor. Oh wait, voice acting that derp. The sound Mr. Sewitt heard was definitely this clock. A fact which is clear if you simply. Let's see. Try sounding the clock. I think that would be the logical one, right? 
I mean, the batteries doesn't seem to help us at all. And why would the neighbors know? Let's sound the clock. Now, here in this court, Your Honor, may I have the clock? I ask the court to listen very carefully. I think it's 8.25. That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. Well, he is the thinker, after all. Well, yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. Obviously, he's going to be thinking about the time, not saying, I know what time it is. So, we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? It's 11.25. 11.25. Ack! As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow! Three hours. Oh yeah, so it would be at 1 p.m. when he hit her. Precisely the discrepancy she between what Mr. Sewitt heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Sewitt, try to talk your way out of this one! <laughs> you forgot one thing! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What's he talking about now? While it may seem like that clock is running three hours slow, it proves nothing! How do you know really? it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? Yeah, it's such a shame how desperate people get. If you can't prove that, you don't have a case! <gasps> He's right! How am I going to prove Damn that? It, Phoenix! Damn it! I was so close! Passport. Come on! Mr. Wright? It seems you lack the critical evidence to support your claim. Yeah. I mean, obviously it would be set to Paris, because she just came back from that trip. She didn't have time to set it back to American time. Exactly. Yes, Your Honor. Yeah, and you might not even remember it until, like, the next day. This means I cannot let you indict the witness. Or even later, if you're kind of flaky on that day. Unfortunately... This ends the cross-examination of Mr. Frank <laughs> Yeah, really. Or if it's on Daylight Savings, because then you might go, Oh, well, okay. I come all the way down here to testify, and look what happens! You treat me like a criminal! They're, a they're, criminal! They're gonna let him go? You lawyers are all sly! We have freaking evidence! Grr, I almost had him! Sorry, Larry. I failed you. No, you didn't, Phoenix. We can still pull through. So fast, Mr. Sewitt. Thank Mia. God Mia came in to save us. Listen up, Ray. Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Thank. But Chief, it's over. Shut up, Phoenix! I can't prove the clock was slow on the day of the murder. Nobody can Guess prove you that. Can. Um, well, yes. She knows what she's talking about. She's not just all boobs, she's smart too. But that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking out of the box. Don't waste time doubting the facts. Assume that the clock was three hours slow and think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason. We've already figured this out. Right, right. Come on. We're like five times ahead. Would be three hours slow. Wait! Maybe I can prove it! Must have evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? Find yes, of course I do. We already know what we well, have. Mr. Wright? Yeah. You say the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. Have you found evidence to support this claim? Of course. Yes, I have. There's a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. Ha! Tough words! Let's see if you can pull that one off. Let's see this evidence that proves the clock was running slow. By the slow. way, Sweet, would you lick your hair back? Actually, no, no. I'm keeping it as a trophy now. Oops. The victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is nine hours. I did not know that, but now I do. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. Oh, the next uh, day there. Oh, this takes place in America, I believe, San Francisco? Oh, uh, yeah, okay, so that's, like, three hours behind for us. Okay. The clock wasn't three hours slow, it was nine hours fast! Ah, there we go. The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home! That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in her apartment was wrong! Proof enough for you, Mr. Sewitt? 
Or should In I that, say, Mr. Did it? Checkmate. Oh, he <laughs> he made the same pun I did at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> and that is the second order, part of this breakdown. What I say? Yeah, really, my god. <laughs> well, it's not often you rage so hard you foam at the this mouth. This case has certainly turned out differently than we all expected. Mr. Payne, your witness. He, uh, he was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. Really? Why is that? Very well. Mr. Wright? I think that's coming up next. Yes, Your Honor. Oh, I should probably get the video before it cuts out itself, because this has been 51 minutes so far. We'll be right back after these short messages. I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly. Well, we're just that awesome. And find the true totally. culprit at the same time. Also, that guy was kind of easy. Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but this court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts. Yay! Whee! I love how there's also confetti thrown. And with that, because this court is adjourned. Yeah, I, I remember seeing that all the time. It's even in traffic court too. It's like, really? yeah. <gasps> Do they have some cake? Yes. It turns out that Frank Sawit was a common burglar. Okay, now this is the motive. Oh yes. He posed as a newspaper salesman to check and see when people were out of the house. Oh, so the newspaper thing was correct. He just used it as a front. That day. When Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Sewitt let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Sewitt grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. So it was all a case of bad timing. Indeed. <clears throat> August 3rd, 2.32 p.m., District Court Defendant Lobby Number 2. Whew! I still can't believe we won! Right! <sighs> Good job in there! Congratulations! Th thanks Chief! I owe it all to you! Yeah! Actually, Phoenix, you owe it all to us, because we have more brain power than you at that moment, I guess. Absolutely! Then again, to be fair, it's two of us versus one of him, so... You know. Oh, yeah. Two brains are good. Not at all. Not at all. Two heads are better than one, as they say. Just not on the same body. Yeah. That's just weird. I've never seen the chief looking this happy. If she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. <laughs> yeah, really. Oh god, I bet he's spazzing the hell out. Well, let's find out. My life is over. <laughs> That does not look like the face of someone who is really happy to just gotten away with murder charges. Yeah, really. Larry, you're supposed to be happy! What's wrong now? Aw, oh, Nick. Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. Whoa, 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 Larry, what the hell? Wait, no! Good. <laughs> bad! Bad, bad, bad! Hell, Phoenix! Oh my god. Larry, you're innocent! The case is closed! But, but my Cindy Windy's gone, man! Gone forever! <laughs> Dude, there are plenty of fish in the sea. I'm sure you'll find a new girlfriend sometime. She didn't even like him anymore. Oh my god, grow up. Well, Larry, wait a minute. was, uh, nah, never mind. Congratulations, Harry. <laughs> His name is Larry! <laughs> Harry! Larry Butts. Yes, you. Harry I can Butts. practically see the head <laughs> yeah. now. Harry Unfortunately, Butts. she's not the only one to make that mistake, as we'll find out later in the game. Oh, no. <laughs> um, thanks! I really owe you one! I won't forget oh this, God, ever! So Let's terrible. celebrate dinner! I guess he's really? just gonna ignore the fact she got his name wrong. Yeah, evidently. 
Yay! Dinner and a movie, his treat! Oh, he's trying to ask me out. I thought he was letting us all, all have us come hey, along. I was the one who got you off the hook. Yeah. <laughs> I agree with Phoenix. He got him off the hook. Why doesn't he get that invitation? Oh, hey. Yeah, really. Here, take this. It's a present. Oh, thanks. A present for me? Wait, wasn't this the evidence that? Oh, yeah. Maybe not take that. Actually, I made this clock for her. Oh, okay, this this is a I different one, one for her and one for me. Oh, okay. Um, so that's his. You? You made this? And he made that. He's really talented. Wow. Well, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. Yo, Nick. Can you believe it? I was so into that chick. And and she was just playing me for a fool. Oh, that make poor Larry. You want to just cry, Larry. Are you so sure? Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I think she thought quite a lot of you in her own way. Yeah. Nah, you don't gotta sympathize with me. It's okay. Oh, I'm not just sympathizing. Oh, come on, really. Larry. Really. Isn't that right, right? Don't you have something to show your friend? Something that proves how she felt about him? Actually, I think I do. Uh, huh? Oh, yeah, right! Well, what the heck is she talking about? The clock with her to Paris. Yeah, she kept the clock with her. She must have had some feelings for him. Yeah. Check this out, Larry. Proof <laughs> positive that. you were just some Proof positive. Huh? What about that clock? This is the clock you made for her, Larry, and she took it with her when she traveled. Whatever, she probably just needed a clock, that's all. Oh, don't think so lightly of it, Larry. Oh, don't be passive aggressive. You think so? <laughs> it's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's a weighted statue with all the mechanical bits inside. It probably must weigh... It, well, it weighed enough to kill someone. Yeah, true. Instead, she took the heavy clock with her. Well, make a bit yeah. you will. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Really, I am. Hey. It's okay, Larry. I mean, you're best friends. Of course, he's gonna defend you when you that need made it. Him feel a little better. Right. I hope you see the importance of evidence now. No, I don't see the importance of evidence. Do we need that stuff in court? We need that stuff. Yeah, I didn't think so. Also, hopefully you realize things change so depending on how you look at them. Yeah, okay. Well, I don't need this evidence anymore. I could just throw it in the trash. Oh wait, the police might need it though. People too. Yeah, that would be a thing. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. And in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Right. Listen, learn, grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Well, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? Yes, yeah, let's I go. So. I guess back to the office or something. Say, how about Probably. dinner? On or me? we could be going out to dinner on Mia. Yay! Okay, that's good too. Sounds like a date. We'll drink a toast to innocent butt. <laughs> innocent butts! <laughs> butts that are incredibly innocent! Yeah. Oh, you mean Larry. Oh, speaking of Larry... You were saying it's kind of why you became a lawyer was because butts. of him. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> er, yeah, part, at least. Oh, maybe we'll get- maybe we'll get this story. The story of how Larry helped Phoenix become a lawyer. You'll have to tell me about it sometime. Yeah. Maybe over Or drinks. maybe we'll uh, not get this story right now over drinks, maybe. And so, my first trial came to a close. Larry Next slapped time. me on the back and said, Gee, Nick, oh, it's good to have friends. But I'm pretty sure he's not gonna oh, well. pay us. Unless you count the clock he gave Mia. <laughs> <laughs> he's not gonna pay us. Oh. Kind of need the money, Larry. I didn't know it then.
that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. Oh, no. And my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one promise I wouldn't be able to keep. Oh. That's not good. I feel like that should say to be continued. Yeah. A brand new episode has been added. Turn about sisters. But with that, I think we'll be ending this episode here. See you guys in the next one.